This presentation is solving for rate. We're going to use the example, if I left $1,200 in the bank for four years, the total interest I earned was $96. What was the rate of interest? So we're going to start with our first question, what is known? We know the principal, and that's $1,200. So we're going to lay out our cards for principal, and then $1,200. And we're going to use the 100 squares to symbolize our $1,200 principal. So we have 100, 200, 300, 1,100, 1,200. We also know the time. Our time is four years, and so we're going to use four green Skittles. And then we also know the interest. Our total interest over the four-year period was $96. We're going to use the unit beads for our $96, and that's over the four-year period. So we're going to distribute the $96 amongst our four years to find out what we earn in one year. So now we've distributed our total interest of 96 evenly amongst our green Skittles, which are representing the four years. So we're going to count how many or how much interest each Skittle got for one year. 24. So for each year, the total interest was $24. So now we can ask the question, what information is wanted? What are we looking for? And the students can tell me that we're looking for the rate, which we represent with the capital letter R. And we, the information that we know about the rate is that it's per $100. So we're going to take the total interest that we gained in one year, and we will distribute that evenly amongst our 100 squares. As we distribute these amongst our 100 squares, I can talk to the students about our rate being a fraction or a percent of what we are going to gain over a year. So now the students can look at our material and they can tell me that for each 100 square, we have two units. So the students can tell me that for each 100, we're going to get two or 2% 2 each year. After we've solved the equation using the materials, I can ask the students what we did to solve for the rate. And they can tell me that they took the total interest, which was $96. We divided that by the time or four years, and then we divided that by our principal, which was $1,200. So we can start by taking 96 and dividing that by 4, and the students get 24, and then we'll take 24 and we'll divide that by 1,200. The students can take that and solve that as a fraction, 24 divided by 1,200. And when they reduce it, we have two one-hundredths, and that is our rate. After the students have completed recording their equation, we're now going to find the formula for rate. So we know that we're looking for rate. And if we refer back to the written equation, we have that rate equals the interest divided by the time divided by the principal.
and I can help the students find the algebraic formula, which is the interest divided by the principal and time.